Good morning, everybody. I don't know where the budget is today, but it's around flying somewhere. I'm going to have a bit of a talk with you today, mainly um, on inverters, uh, problems you can have. Uh, my experiences with dealing with different companies. Um, this is not any one brand specific. This is about uh, imported inverters and the problems you can have getting them serviced, repaired, replaced, um, and just make sure that you're dealing with reputable companies, okay? Now, you all know I'm with Dia, so uh, because I've got a Dia here, okay, we're going to talk about the availabilities. So there we go, it's Wednesday today. Thank you, Dia, for telling me what day it was. And now before I went to Dia, I also, uh, let's just pop into this little shed for a second. I also used uh, MPP solar inverters in Taiwan. Indeed, I've still got one sitting there. All right. That's just got the generator wired into it so I can charge my batteries separate to my loads, which is why I can get away with just a tiny three kilowatt inverter because I can charge my loads at uh, 30 amps at 48 volt DC and um, not put any too much strain on the little inverter trying to run loads at the same time. Anyway, that was just... Uh, well, over the years, and it has been a lot of years for me, we've been off grid and like with MPP I'd have to wait for parts to be shipped from Taiwan and then do the repairs myself um, and some of my, some of the other people I know and I know a lot of people that, that are off grid um, would even end up just sending the inverter back to Taiwan getting it fixed and getting it delivered back to them again. Now my experience with Dia now DR inverters look that they're a great inverter they're very they're, they're very 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 good inverters um, but they've got the same problem as everyone else where do you get them serviced if you buy one that doesn't work uh, because it's got a programming glitch where do you send it to um, I can't answer that question on Dia's behalf, but I can answer it through experience. Now Dia's are being sold everywhere. Even Outbacks have them for sale. I mean, they're being sold everywhere. Some of the supermarket chains are even selling them because they are a really, really good inverter. But if you do happen to buy a dud one, and let's face it, anything to do with computer programming and these are really technical inverters and I still highly recommend them but if you do get one that's got a programming glitch where do you send it to? well I would say my answer to that is you just buy it from Green Bank Solar Australia and George is very knowledgeable on these things and he also, if it's programming or anything like that, he can fix it. All right, if it's internal, if something goes bang, then it's probably going to have to be sent back to Dia in China. The same as Grow Watts and everything else that's on the market that goes bang a lot. Um, if you're buying it from a reputable uh, solar agent like solar reseller most of them will just replace it if they can't fix it um, 
with with the Dio if it's a programming glitch you can just send it to George at Greenbank so even though you can buy these things in supermarkets and everyone seems to be selling solar these days um, hybrid inverters because more and more people are requiring them oh listen to that I've got the door open and the internal fans turned on so look uh, it, it's whenever you're doing anything solar even if you buy a TV these days you know it's buyer beware on everything you buy these days make sure they have the servicing available and in my experience, George at Greenbank Solar is the only one that knows enough about these deers to actually work on them. Okay, that's, that's my experience and that's why I recommend him. You know, yeah, he has given me a discount code. Do I get stuff cheaper off him? Not really. Okay, uh, sometimes... I will, but most of the time, I'm, I'm exactly the same as all the rest of you out there. I pay full price for what I get, and it's up to me if I want to make a video or not about of it. Out of it, sometimes I get stuff given to me by companies, and I'm always a no-strings-attached person. If it's no good, you know, then it's no good. And if it is good, I'm, I'll probably do a video about it. So, depending on how I'm feeling at the time. But this is just a buyer beware because as more and more and more of you are going into uh, switching your solar systems over or, or just putting in batteries and an inverter and charging the batteries off the grid and having the batteries as a grid backup, it all comes down to the gear you're using and if anything goes wrong with it how you can get that gear fixed always keep that in mind before you buy anything I always do before I buy anything whether it's a TV set not that I have bought one of those in the past 10 years with inverters especially always keep in mind okay if this inverter goes down okay I've got to either have a backup which I do have um, while I'm getting one fixed and it might take me um, three or four weeks or even a month by the time we've got problems sorted out and, it's, uh, and, and gears back up and running so please this is a buyer beware video okay now I recommend if you're thinking about Dia and you seriously should because they are a damn good inverter then there's only one real person to buy it off um, and that's Greenbank Solar Australia. Why? Because George, if there's a programming issue or something like that or if you can't work the programming out, George will talk you through it on the telephone. If you buy it through Outbacks or Big W or other stores like that, they don't have a clue how to program one of these. They wouldn't have the first idea all right and, and as far as getting it fixed if something goes wrong good luck with that good luck with that okay so buyer beware and it's not just dia like i say it's any brands on the market but because they're all made in china most of them these days or well, all the parts are imported from china and they're so-called assembled in Australia, but made in Australia. Just be aware, like most of you, I'm not telling a lot of you anything new. All you people that are off-grid, you've probably already experienced these sorts of issues. But for all you new people out there, be really careful who you're dealing with and make sure you've got back, back up, like, you know, that you've got support from that person or that store. And I can tell you right now, I'm, I'm not saying Big W sell these, but I'm saying chain stores like Big W, they're not going to be able to help you with this. They, <laughs> they don't have a clue about off-grid electricity. All they're interested in is taking your money. 
all right? But people like George um, at Green Bank who sells a deer, or if you buy grey water or something, people like Silvio at eSolar uh, in Perth, they know and they care about the, the, their, 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 their clients, okay? And they do care. And if you've got a problem, it will get sorted, okay? Warranty is a great thing. Um, unfortunately, for a lot of the imported stuff, the warranty you get with it means absolutely nothing. You know, absolutely nothing. All right, look, I've rattled on enough. Just, just be careful who you're buying from. Okay, now George d does have a 5% discount code he's given me. I make nothing out of it, and I will put it under this video uh, for you if you are thinking about um, buying new gear, um, especially if it's if it's deer inverters. George is demand for deer inverters, everybody. Okay, as far as I know, and he is the only one that has an inkling about the programming inside of them, how to fix them if, if their programming gets a bit wonky. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, so there we go. Look, that, I'm, I'm just trying to keep you informed. I'm always trying to keep you informed and, and help you make the right choices whether you listen to me or not. Um, but keep in mind, the person you are buying this from if it goes bad and you've got to get it fixed two years into the uh, or, or even straight away but if you if you need help programming it but if it breaks down uh, under warranty and you have to get it fixed then you have to go back to the person you bought it from and if it's big w or outbacks or um, something like like these big chain stores good luck with that if it's from uh, Dia, uh, uh, George from um, Green Bank Solar Australia then you're gonna be fine you're gonna be right you're not gonna have a, uh, too much problem at all um, he will get it sorted eventually all right okay look I hope you enjoy this video and uh, keep safe it's a it's a beautiful day here today oh look and budget's back g'day budget you pop in pop in for a bit of breakfast did you you want to come around this side you popped in for a bit of breakfast mate uh, yeah yeah can you see the people yeah you can can't you say hello no. Alright everyone, anyway, keep safe and bye for now. <laughs>